Hey, what's up my YouTube family? I just figured I'd come in here, check in with you guys, let you know what we got going on at the shop. I know that I'm late getting a video out this week, so I just want to let you guys know why I've been late getting things out this week. I haven't been uh, busy with my day job. My day job actually has been running uh, fairly normal these last couple of weeks, and uh, I've been out in my shop actually a lot lately. Um, Father's Day coming up, we got dad's and grad season, and this has been a big time where I usually actually pick up a lot in the shop, so I have not been able to get a video out as of late. So let me just go ahead and turn my camera around, and I'll show you on my table saw where I've got a lot of things staged, it, just exactly what I have going on out here in the shop right now. So hold on just a second. Okay, so here is my table saw, which is currently my staging area for a lot of the projects that I have going on. So, doing something exciting. Right now I've got some inlay kits going here. These are Hummingbird um, inlay kits that I got. Here's one that I have completed. This one is for a customer that ordered this for herself. Beautiful Hummingbird inlay kit. Nice curly maple on that one. I've got it all assembled. I just have to put the tube down inside and glue it in place and then it'll be ready to be turned. Love this inlay kit. Absolutely lovely. She's ordered that. I picked up a second one. One so I had extra parts in case anything went wrong. And two, my dad is a big hummingbird fan so I'm going to be making that up for him for Father's Day. While I was there, since you know I'm already having to pay for shipping, I might as well pick up some extra stuff. I picked up this really cool eagle kit. So this is an eagle um, that has uh, red, white, and blue uh, stripes and star field for the wings. So that's going to be an exciting one coming out here real soon uh, in the future. I picked up, I've always wanted to do one of these, a couple of Civil War pens. I, for those that know me personally, I am a huge history buff. Civil War, uh, one of my favorite uh, periods in history to study and then also World War II another one of my favorite periods in history to study and then I've got both the Confederate and the United States Union flag with 35 stars not 50 stars for those of you that know um, I have both of those uh, inlay kits in this bag ready to be put together and assembled and we're going to be doing a uh, two part uh, on this one and then also picking up a uh, nice display box for it as well. Uh, over here, let's see, had to pick up some gloves because I'm doing a lot of stuff that I'm going to need gloves out here for. Working with a lot of CA glue, especially with inlay kits, got to glove up because you do not want to end up with these things turning into nothing but solid acrylic. So, let's see things we have going on over here lots of cedar dust on the table at the moment because I'm also working on an urn for a customer they had their dog pass away they wanted me to make them an urn so let's see what do we got oh can't show you can't show you that one that one's actually going to be changing that one's a, a gift I can't tell you about right now this one is another gift but I know that this person doesn't watch my videos so this one I can tell you about this is a joker blank and you can see that there is green in there and then this blue it's not really a blue it's kind of a, a violet and green combo when you hit it at different angles of the light and so I call this the joker blank because this uh, pen is for a customer loves the joker um, thinks he's a hilarious villain and uh, so his girlfriend ordered this joker blank for him and so the joker being, you know, the violet and green and, and then the green hair, of course, here. And then, of course, honeycomb because he's very crafty and he's a mastermind and he's very structured in what he does uh, in being so random, which is kind of an odd thing to think of. But he's very structured in what he does, uh, being a bad guy, thinks things way ahead. And so... Aluminum honeycomb being strong and very structured, I thought was a good fit going in there. And so, and he's also a big fly fisherman. So we got this fly fishing kit for it. And so this will be a fun one. It'll be a new one coming out here very soon. Let's see, what else do we have here? Grab this one. I'll show this to you. Picked up some turquoise kiranite for a pen for my wife. We've got our anniversary coming up soon. 
and uh, she told me that she liked this one. This is the Chic Line uh, Slimline Kit. And so we're going to be doing that in some turquoise kieranite. Absolutely lovely color. Like that. Very nice. Video I'll be coming out with soon on this one as well. This is some purple heart, and I've found a way to make purple heart that deep purple color all the way through the wood without having to hit it with a torch, without having to set it out in the sun for days on end, and me being in Oregon, I cannot set things out in the sun for days on end. We haven't seen the sun for a few days, so can't really do that, but look at the purple that I got out of that blank. It is absolutely a gorgeous shade of purple, and it's not just the exterior on that. It's the interior as well. I got it to turn purple through the entire piece of wood. And that video will be coming out soon on how to do that. Um, tried three different ways on getting the purple color uh, to show on my pen. I tried the torch, tried another method, and then finally landed on this method. And it has worked successful, successfully for me so far. So I'll have a video coming out on that soon. And this is going to be for a... Baron pen kit for a customer that's ordered that on Etsy, which will be shipping out soon. Let's see, so that's it for the ones that need to turn. This one I have turned, and it's going to be being put together here real soon. That's what I'm out here doing tonight. So we've got a Triton fountain pen. This is for a customer, and uh, this is redwood lace burl and then a segment of tiger wood in there. So an absolutely beautiful piece, real nice colors, looks real nice. And then Triton fountain pen, you just can't go wrong with that combo. It's an absolutely lovely kit. Let's see, and here, this one's going to be shipping out tomorrow. I'm putting this together tonight, shipping it out tomorrow. This is a curly maple barren pen kit with gold features and we're going to be doing a G2 conversion on this one as well. G2 conversion on that. But look at those pieces of curly maple. Aren't those gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful pieces of curly maple on there. So that's going to be getting put together tonight. Shipping that out for my customer tomorrow a couple days early. So they'll be excited to get that. Let's see. Oh, this one. This is a special one. I'm kind of I was upset about this earlier. We're going to see if this works. So I have a customer that their um, niece, I guess their niece, graduated from Texas A&M. And this is, you can't really see it at the moment because I've got it covered in CA glue. Um, it is a maroon, there you go, you can kind of see it at that angle. Maroon color for the Texas A&M colors. And I had it explode. It full on grenaded on me. I had four good sized pieces fly off and uh, I have put them back together. You can't really see where the seam lines are because I did a fairly decent glue up job I'd like to say myself and uh, see if I can get that to focus. There we go. There you can see one seam line right there but so I've got to do some cleanup on it get, especially get my rubber glove unstuck from it and that's going to be going on a Sierra contour grip kit. So it's going to be a gunmetal and chrome uh, grip ballpoint pen. And these are really neat. This grip section is actually contoured. That way um, it's not just a round grip. It actually has and some angles to it, which are real nice. So that will be exciting to get put together. So, yeah, so that's going to be that's what we've got going on out here in the shop. Uh, hold on a second. Let me show you these panels that I've got for this urn. So I've been doing some work with the table saw lately. Um, had to get my joiner and my planer out of storage and did some work with my table saw. Resawed this single piece of redwood um, cedar, aromatic cedar, not redwood cedar, aromatic cedar. And it was originally one and one eighth inch. And then I resawed it and I got two half inch pieces that were real rough on the inside. So I hit them with the planer and now they're sitting at three eighths of an inch. Absolutely beautiful pieces of wood. Love aromatic cedar. It's always got some nice colors. And you can see there the grains line up. 
nicely book matched. Haven't decided exactly how I want to lay these out yet, um, but we're going to be making these into an urn for for a really nice lady's dog who passed away. Found another inlay kit that I had sitting over with these. This is another one, actually a pen for my wife. She's big into dolphins, and so we have a dolphin inlay kit going for her as well. And let's see, I'll show you a couple of things I've got. I've been reorganizing some stuff out here in the shop. Went by Wood Crafters today that we have here in Portland. Found a couple of really nice pieces. Found this piece of tulip wood sitting in their scrap bin. Picked it up, gonna cast it. This section here is probably only three eighths, maybe a half inch thick. And then it tapers down to that there. Real nice piece, that'll look nice casted up. Found this nice piece of walnut, check this one out. Can you see the figuring in that? Look at the figuring in that piece of walnut. And then these pieces of, of uh, knot that I'm gonna knock out. Really nice piece of walnut. Split it in half and cast it too, so that'll be fun. And then, let me go grab my wood bin. I wanna show you these pieces of olive wood that I've picked up, hold on a second. So this is my wood bin. This is what I keep a lot of my sections of wood in for my shop. And I had to pick up some more Purple Heart for doing the testings that I've been doing, but I won't be needing these pieces because the stuff that I've got I, I think should be good now. But I've got overstock for the shop anyway because, you know, people love Purple Heart. It's gorgeous wood. Let's see. What was that? That was piece of Baduk, nice piece of Baduk right there. But what I want to show you is a nice piece of red heart, some curly maple. What I want to show you is this piece of olive wood that I picked up. No, that's not it. That's tiger wood. There, there's our olive wood. Gorgeous piece of olive wood. Look at the figuring in that nice piece of olive wood right there. It's got some nice figuring. Just happened to, while I was picking up that other purple heart, looked over and saw this piece. Real nice piece of olive wood. It's got some good figuring in it. And then right next to it was this piece right here, which also is a really nice piece. Nice piece of figuring. Look at that little little section of figure in there. A little bit up top. Just a gorgeous piece. Sometimes you just get excited over a piece, and I just could not let these sit there. Look at the figuring down there on the bottom of that. Absolutely lovely. I just couldn't let them sit there. They had to come home with me. So we'll put those away and I'll get back to work here. And then as you probably saw, I've also got this box sitting down here. This is a customer order that, they, that I've got going out tomorrow. I've got a few pieces, uh, or I got this really nice piece. You probably saw, if you follow me on Instagram, which you definitely should, I've got this nice business card holder that we made up out of a piece of Curly Koa. Real nice business card holder. Let me see if I got a business card here. So business card just slips right down in that slot right there, just like so. Real nice business card holder, looks really sweet, real slick. Love the curls that we got off of that Curly Koa. So that's going to be going out to that customer here real soon. Like I said, tomorrow morning I'll be shipping that out. And then they ordered all these Sierra pens. They actually supplied the kits and the acrylic and then they just paid me for the labor. Real cool skeleton key pen kit here. This was a fun one. Did a letter opener for them as well. Turned out really nice. Another Sierra kit and a, this was a cool one. This was a Rhodium Gatsby kit. Turned out real nice. I'm going to have to pick up some of those. They're pretty sweet. So that's what we got going on in the shop. So it's been pretty busy, it's been crazy. Um, I've been shipping out orders just about every couple of days uh, for the last week. My family's going, honey, when are you gonna come in the house? Like, when I get caught up. Uh, we're gonna, planning on going out to Crater Lake um, at, right after Father's Day. So Father's Day, we're gonna drive down to Crater Lake and be down that way for, for a couple of days. And then, uh, and then we'll be back home we're gonna have people at the house and, and watching over the shop and stuff for me, and, which is gonna be nice. Um, but 
family is going to go down to Crater Lake with us. It's our anniversary weekend there as well. My wife and I have been married two years now, so it's fantastic. She's a lovely woman, and I am certainly l lucky to have met her all those years ago. So, well, that's it for my update. Just want to let you guys know exactly what we had going on out in the shop. So I'm going to get off of here and get back to work and... Uh, and get some more stuff turned out. So thanks again for joining me out in the shop. This is Tactical Painter out of the Suits Crafting Wood Shop, signing out. And one quick note, while you're here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other videos here on the sides, and leave any comments in the sections down below of anything that you may want to see. And as always, you can always pick up stuff from my shop at, at my Etsy site, uh, Suits Crafting on Etsy. Go ahead and check that out, look it up. Thank you so much again for joining me out in the shop, Suits Crafting. Signing out.